Amin alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wal aqibatu lil muttaqin was salatu was salam ala rasulihi Muhammadin wa alihi wa ashabihi wa ahli baytihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin amma ba'd fa'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim hello in assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to all the viewers in respect to students of salam university i would like to welcome you once again to another tutorial lecture regarding the subject of leadership. I'm Safiullah Shinwari, one of the lecturers of Salam University, Faculty of Economics. I hope students all of you are fine and having good days around your family. So uh, let's directly go to our today's session and see what are the topics which are going to be explained inshallah through this lecture. If you remember dear students so in last few lectures we've started to discuss the theories in relation to the subject of leadership we call them leadership theories so previously we have talked about four important and significant theories such as contingency leadership theory path goal theory of leadership situational leadership theory and as well as behavior leadership theory so each of these theories they have you know different assumptions and they have different beliefs if i just quickly uh, give you know some information about these four so contingency theory believes that the success of a leader does not only depend on his abilities and skills and style of leadership this theory assumes that there are some other certain factors which can act and which can play in the success of the leadership such as uh, employees company, culture, and also uh, the structure of the organization. Whereas the path goal theory believes that the leadership and also the leaders, they should adopt a style of leadership uh, which is more efficient, effective, and which can best motivate the employees in order to perform their uh, work and achieve the goals of the organization. This theory believes that the performances in achievement of the employees strongly depends uh, on the style of the leadership of uh, the leaders. So it's better for leaders to choose that style of leadership which can help best to achieve the goals of the organization. Whereas the situational leadership uh, theory has, you know, a different assumptions. Uh, this theory believes that there are various situations uh, in which the leader have to adopt uh, different you know style of leaderships you know based on the situation because uh, situations are you know not constant and the situations do not remain the same so whenever the situations are getting changed the leaders they should adopt different situations and they have to adopt different style of leadership and this was also a previous lecture uh, if you remember we discussed that there are four types of uh, situational style of leadership such as telling uh, this was the first one telling the second one was selling and the third one was participating the fourth one was delegating uh, and also we mentioned that beside these four styles of leadership uh, there are four levels of maturity of the employees uh, because you know all employees you know do not have same level of maturity and they do not have same level of uh, competencies in confidence and also commitments uh, so the leader have to discuss you know and also first study uh, the maturity level of the employees if the maturity of the employees is you know in M1 means maturity level 1 so then uh, the best style of leadership which can suit this uh, maturity level that is telling yet uh, telling as amrai M1 matching mekana Telling style of leadership matches the M1 uh, level of maturity. In telling, normally the leaders are directing uh, the employees and followers, but uh, the decisions are made by leaders uh, because you know the M M1 level uh, maturity of the employees. So here the employees you know show low confidence, uh, low commitment, and also low competency level. So whenever the competency level is also low, the commitment is low, the confidence is low. So that's why the leaders, they should take step and they should make all the decisions and direct the employees and tell them uh, what to do, right? And ask them what to do. Then the second style of leadership that was, you know, selling. 
So in selling, if you remember, we talked that still the leaders are making decisions. But here the leaders are trying to motivate the employees. Because this, this style of leadership, you know, matches best with M2 level of maturity. In M2 level of maturity, uh, the employees, you know, they display low confidence uh, and high commitment. But, and their competency level is also very low. So that's why the decisions are still made by the leaders, but they are motivating uh, the employees to perform the given task. Then the third level, of, uh, the third style of uh, leadership that was participating. So uh, as the word suggests in participating, the leaders, they are encouraging the employees and followers to participate in the decision making process. And the employees are given the chance to uh, offer their ideas and opinions and suggestions. So participating style of leadership was best matching with M3 level of maturity, where the employees, they show high competency and also low commitment. So when your employees are competent, your followers are competent, so you should ask and you should urge and motivate them to take part in the decision making process of the organization. On the other side, the last and fourth style of leadership that was delegating. So delegating basically means that assigning all the responsibilities to your employees uh, for making decisions regarding the workplace. So delegating, we mentioned that it matches, uh, you know, level of maturity M4. So in M4, the employees, they display high competency level and also high commitment. So whenever your employees are showing high comp competency level and high commitment and high confidence, so it gives the leader chance to assign the responsibilities in decision making process to the employees and the leader just you know see them from outside and just try to uh, you know manage them and see them that you know how they are performing their works uh, in the behavior leadership theory uh, we have discussed that the leaders uh, they are showing different behaviors in the workplace and they can be best evaluated based on those uh, behaviors skills and abilities they display in the workplace in the assumption of this theory was also uh, that the leaders are not born, they are made. It means everybody can be a leader by learning and adopting and improving some uh, leadership skills and abilities in finding some leadership behaviors. Uh, so the remaining two theories, the great man theory and also the threats theory of leadership are going to be explained today in this session, inshallah. So let's proceed to our main topic for the day. All right. Uh, there are some important lines, uh, as you may heard from the people, uh, they say, and also from the literatures regarding the leadership in from the researches uh, in studies, you know, uh, they show that great leaders are God gifted, not man made. So this uh, great man theory also believes that the leaders are born with some inbuilt uh, or some innate uh, characteristics and qualities which uh, a leader needs. Uh, yani great man theory ham sarzi bawar dara ke leaders aslan khalq shada but tamami u kaifat how quality ke ba ek leader zarurat dara e theory ira suggest me kana ke uh, leaders uh, made na me basha yani leaders kas burn me basha this quote reflects the result conveyed by a very popular theory uh, known as great man so one of a question may arise from you uh, and also for you guys that why it's called great men theory why it's not great women theory because you know the theory when it was uh, developed you know so uh, i think you know it was back in 90 uh, 19th century so that time you know the power was more you know laid in the hands of men and men were more you know in the front line to be leaders and to lead the organizations and societies so that's why this theory was also meant like the great man theory of the leadership the female didn't have, you know, much opportunities, you know, to lead and to become leaders. So, uh, theory known as great man theory of leadership, which relates to the fact that leadership threats are inbuilt. As I said before, that the main assumption of this theory is that the leaders are inbuilt. It means they have inbuilt characteristics in their personality, and that's why they are leaders. It means everybody cannot be a leader. In other words, there is a binary answer to the question of knowing whether you are a leader or not, meaning that you were either born as a great leader or not. Uh, it means, <coughs> sorry, uh, whenever you uh, display some skills and characteristics and behaviors of leader, so the theory says that you had, you know, all these inborn qualities from the past, 
and that's why you know you you are a great leader but factors such as as your upbringing education and experiences are only demonstrating your leadership abilities yet assumption e diga as a theory is ke it sorry ki theory mega ke leaders ke as burn me basha tamam e kawaif wa kayfiyat hai ke ek leader zarurat dara pura zawal dashta me basha lekin baad un ki ek leader upbringing me sha mana yani bala me aaya kalan me sha wo education me kana experience me gira mega e cheeza ke stan tana demonstrate me kana leadership ability zura lekin e leader as a world leader me basha salahiyat hai leadership ke as a world dashta me basha they are in responsible for making you a leader yani e theory bhai bawar dara ki education experience ke as e aslan shumar leader na me saza wa 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 bhai masulam ne stan ke shumar leader asin masuliyat ke as sari u factors me basha ki as a world ek shakhs dashta basha da khilqat e khud da paidaish ke khud ke as e tamam nuqat e dashta basha ki shumar ek leader e khub ya muwafaq hastin ya nestin خو اگر شما نگاه کنین با ہسٹری آف گریٹ مین لیڈرشپ تھیوری ڈیورنگ دا 19th سینچری دا گریٹ مین تھیوری آف لیڈرشپ بیکیم ویری پاپولر از آئی سیڈ بیفور دیٹ ایکچولی اٹ واز یو نو ڈیولپڈ بائی یو نو ایٹ ان دا 19th سینچری اینڈ آلسو دا تھیوری واز فارمولیٹڈ مینلی بائی انالائزنگ بیہیویئرز آف مینلی ملٹری فگرز آف دا ٹائم یعنی تھیوری اولا کیس دا نظام تطبیق شد و دا اونجا فارمولیٹ شد Okay, figures in 18th centuries, 1800s, authoritative positions were held slowly, uh, solely by men and were typically passed on from father to son. Ho kisme ki mabar tan kablan zikar kardum ki chara i teori da great women teori na nomi da, chara great men nomi da. Chara ki da karne ajda, khususan tamami authoritative positions ki bud, yani authority ki medosh. Ho tamami positions amrai men me bud. یعنی امرائی مردان می بودن و خصوصا ای دوری بودن که دای وقت اکثر فادرس که بودن و مسئولیت ها را پاس می کد با سنز با پسارانشان That is not like a coincidence that the theory was named great man theory از او خاطری را great man theory هم نامی دا As there weren't any women that were given the opportunity to rise when the occasion presented itself یعنی او وقتای بودن که دای اونجا ومن اقدر فرصت ها و opportunities نداشتن که لید کنا و اقدر فرصت نداشتن کسی برشان فرصت نمیدادن که در پوزیشن لیدرشپ بیایا تا که تیوری بنامی و مسما شوا خو شما متوجه شوین که ای تیوری را کی دیولپ کرد در فیمس هستارین تامس بود که یک تاریخ نویس بود یک سکالر بود او ای تیوری را کس developed that was uh, deeply involved with this great man theory of leadership and had even stated that the history of this world was basically the combined biographies of these great men who thomas bai mana wa bai fikr bud ki aslan tarikh e duniya ke as yani bai nami leaders ya graft me da ki nami leaders astan ki tarikh e duniya ra ke as ya me saza wa yom bai bawar dastan thomas ki effective leaders ke as و چقدر افکتیو لیڈرشپ بیہیویئرز و سکلز کے میباشا دا ایک شخص یسلن گاڈ گفٹڈ میباشا کہ خداوندی استن یعنی خداوند با ایک شخص دادا خوب دا اینجا بازی آرگیمنٹس استن بخلاف ای تیوری یعنی بازی بحثا موجود استن بخلاف ای تیوری کہ از او جملہ یکی کہ استن ہاربرٹ سپینسر میباشا فیمس سوسیالوجس سید دار گریٹ لیڈرز ور آنلی پروڈکٹس آف دا آٹموسفیر ان سوسائیٹی دے ورکڈ ان لیفٹ ان یا بھئی باور بودن که اصلا گریٹ لیڈرز کی است یا خودشان خلق نشده انوائرمنٹ است، آٹموسفیر استن، جامعه استن که گریٹ لیڈرز کی است می سازا جایی که لیڈرز زندگی می کنه اینمی جامعه استن، اینمی انوائرمنٹ استن که لیڈرز خوب می سازا و گفته می شه نظر به هاربرٹ سپنسر که اصلا بهترین لیڈرز کی است یک تولید ای جامعه است یعنی جامعه یا را تولید می کنه In other words, society was shaping these great men as opposed to them shaping society. هربرت سپنسر که از بحثشی بود که اصلا جامعه که استن ای رهبرای بهتری نمی سازا و ای رهبرا که از جامعه را نمی سازا These leaders are not shaping society Society is shaping these great leaders So this was you know the first argument against the great man theory of leadership
Okay, so uh, let's talk about the second and the last theory of our course. That's, you know, the trait theory of leadership. So what is the assumption of this particular theory? It suggests that, uh, you know, like, like this, this theory is based in also, we can say that, you know, through this uh, theory, uh, we can identify the specific threats in personality threats or in characteristics uh, that can distinguish, you know, leaders from non-leaders. So as the name suggests, threat theory, it means there are some certain uh, threats uh, which a leader have, right? Uh, in, in, uh, they can be distinguished uh, from, you know, bad leaders or from non-leaders. This theory is the fact that there are some features and features and characteristics that we can see that if a leader is a non-leader, it will be different from a leader as a non-leader. Basically, this theory uh, characteristics, there are, you know, hundreds of characteristics. But I'm going to uh, explain a few of them. So the first one is, you know, the adaptability and flexibility. So this is the first characteristic that a leader should be adaptable, can adopt every situation in condition and also flexible. It means, uh, you know, bringing changes according to the situation. Assertiveness, the leader must be assertive, showing positivity all the time. Capacity to motivate people. So this is, you know, like a great threat of a leader to have, you know, the ability and inspiration to motivate other people, courage in resolution. So leaders should always display great courage and make you know, sound decisions uh, and, and, and try to be a bold person and uh, should not you know, blame other people for his mistakes, uh, should always you know, take uh, mistakes you know, on his shoulder and always you know, appreciate others. Uh, creativity, this is you know, another quality in threat of uh, the leader to have you know, creativity, always bringing innovation by himself and always uh, encouraging you know, the group members to be innovative and to bring you know, creativity to the group. Uh, emotional stability, so the leader must have you know, the threat in quality uh, to have you know, control of his emotion at the time of difficult situation, so he's not going to lose his temper on his employees and followers. So at the time of difficulties, he's giving great support uh, to employees and followers need for achievements, so great leaders, they are always just looking for achievements, they have targets and goals, and they are just, you know, trying to clarify the vision, the mission and objectives to the team members, and trying to motivate them, direct them, uh, in order to achieve those goals. Uh, next can be, you know, decisiveness, great leaders, they are always have, you know, the skill to make sound decisions, and they are very decisive, it means, you know, uh, they are not kind of hesitant in making decisions, they have, you know, very good, uh, you know, a skill of making great decisions, eagerness to accept uh, responsibility. So great leaders, you know, always accept responsibilities for, you know, uh, the bad situations, uh, and they do not blame others, you know, for these situations. So this theory believes that if you have, you know, all these qualities, so you can be distinguished from non-leaders, and you will be called like a good leader. Uh, as you know, as you can see on the screen, the threat theory of leadership is an early assumption that leaders are born and due to this belief those that possess the correct qualities and threats are better suited to leadership. So same is the case. I am a great man. 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 And this theory often identifies behavioral characteristics that are common in leaders. There are hundreds of characteristics. خب باز شانه که ما برتان ذکر کردم اگه اینی خصوصیات در یک لیدر موجود باشه ما میتونیم که او را یک لیدر بگویم و او را یک برن لیدر بگویم تریت تیوری آف لیدرشپ is also one of the first academic theory of leadership and attempts to answer why some people are good leaders and others are not این تیوری گفتم ما برتان که سر جنمی باور داره که بازی لیدرز خوب است بازی شان بد است خوب به ایمان هستن که و تمام سکلز و ایبیلیتیز و لیدرشپ کریکترستکس از اول داشتن یعنی در خلقت واقعی بودن و, و ای سکلز و ایبیلیتیز ها داشته بود از اول خو یک شارت هستری است از فرید تیوری ای تیوری هم گیست در سال نوزده دیولپ شده ویر امین کال تامس یوز سچ انڈرسٹیننگ تو ایڈنٹیفای در تیلنٹس سکلز این کریکٹرستکس آف مین هو روز تو پاور گفته میشه که دو نمو وقت که است قرن نوزده ای تیوری هم دیولپ شد و با اساس ازی که هر کسی که کریکترستکس و سکلز یک لیدر را داشته باشه و تلنت یک لیدر از اول داشته باشه سو هی کن بی کالد ا سکسیسفول لیدر 
The threat theory of leadership is based on the characteristics of many leaders. It means the injury of one person is that we are not able to do it. That is, it threats the leaders to be able to do it. یعنی زیاد لیڈرز اس کی یک نو ٹرس تھریٹس تھا رہا و کریکٹرسٹکس تھا رہا و دیگا کیا اس تن دیگا نوا خو تھریٹ لیڈرشپ تیوری کیا اس دا انجا کریکٹرسٹکس کی ما مطالعہ میں کنیم او را باسا سے منی لیڈرز مطالعہ میں کنیم ما کی چندین بیسٹ لیڈرز جمع کنیم و دا بین وا چقدر کوالٹیز و کریکٹرسٹکس کی موجود اس او را جمع کنیم او را ما گفتا می تنیم کہ تمام او کریکٹرسٹکس کی ا He can be successful leader. The bhai ne kasi u threats maujud na bacha. He can be unsuccessful leader. It is used to predict leadership effectiveness. The resulting list of threats are then compared to those of potential leaders to assess their likelihood of success or failure. As I said before, ki shuma u list nami girin. As mukhtalif leader ha kya asna nukate mosbat wa karakterasek se mosbat shona nami girin. Wo baad jo ura compare me kine. Says ki ki me tana ki potential leader bacha, ki na me tana ki potential leader. نباشه کی میتونه که موفق باشه و کی میتونه که موفق نباشه. Once found the theory is that that these natural leaders can then be nurtured to become great leaders. پس زمانی که ما کارکترستیکس پیدا کنیم که بعضی لیدرز که از او موفق نیستن، ما میتونیم که امکان کارکترستیکسی که لیدرز داره که موفق است، او را بگیریم و باعث از اون که استن او لیدرز ترین کنیم کسایی که موفق نیستن. In order to become more efficient and effective leaders in future. So here is, you know, uh, the list of uh, some of the great and important and key characteristics of successful leaders, knowledge of the business, initiative, tenacity, energy, decision-making skills, flexibility, creativity, charisma, emotional intelligence, drive and motivation, confidence, honesty, and integrity. So these are, you know, some of the key threats uh, of the leadership in the leaders who have these uh, skills so they can be inborn leaders. So, uh, if I ask you a very short question, uh, what do you think that, you know, from these uh, characteristics, which of them uh, you possess? All right, so now, uh, you may have, you know, three, four, five of these characteristics and some of you may have, you know, more than few of these characteristics. So you may call yourself like inborn leaders. Okay, uh, again, you know, it's repeated here that traditionally the most uh, passionate version of threat theory see these leaders' characteristics as innate. دوباره این موضوع تکرار شده در اینجا و میگه که لیدرشپ تریت تیوری اف لیدرشپ سرزی زیاد باور داره که کی ای کریکترستکس داره و انید باشه یعنی ان برن کریکترستکس باشه این سچ سم پیپل آر سین تو بی برن لیدرز سو دی آر لیک یا لیدرز می باشه که از اول خلق شده به تمامی کوایف و کیفت ها سپورت تو دیس تیوری ویچ از ناو کنسیدرد لارجلی اوت اف دیت بیلیف that leadership development consists of identifying and measuring leadership qualities, creating potential leaders from non-leaders, and then training those with potential. So, one thing that I've said is that the old-fashioned theory is old-fashioned. In the modern age or the modern time, the people are in the world. We can say that the most successful leader is the most successful leader. We can teach each other, teach each other, and train each other, and train each other, and train each other, and train each other. In fact, modern thinking suggests that the above threats are little more than characteristics which although some people can possess them naturally, can be learned and, and, uh, and built into one's behaviors in thinking thus affecting their leadership potential. For this reason, I have told you that the old theory is old-fashioned and the other theory is argument that the skills and abilities or characteristics are the only way that the train or develop the personality of the person و هر نفر می تانه که یک 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 لیدر شوه و تمام کوالیتی و کیفیت ها کیس ایرا لرن کنه خو اگه مو شما سر لیمیتیشن تیوری کم صحبت کنیم سو دیر آر سم لیمیتیشنز اف دیس تیوری دی فرست ون دتس 
there is you know bound to be some subjective judgment in determining who is regarded as a good or successful leader awalin mushkil ke theories yani judgment ke ma mekin us subjective me basha subjective judgment bhai mona san ke ma mardam judge mekinim ba asasi characteristics se khud judge mekinim u khususiyat ke ma da yak shakhs khush darim ya zarurat darim agar da shta basha we call him or her a good leader لیکن اگر او خصوصیات نداشته باشه وی کال ہیم لائک ان سکسیزفل لیڈر سو دیٹس وائی دس از دا لمیٹیشن آف دس تھیوری دیٹ وی کال پیپل ٹو بی گڈ اور بیڈ بیسڈ آن آور اون پرسیپشن ان اوپینین ان دس از دا لمیٹیشن دیٹ یو نو وی آر ٹیکنگ سبجیکٹو اپروچ دا سیکنڈ ون دیٹس یو نو دا لسٹ آف پاسبل تھریٹس ٹین ٹو بی ویری لانگ یا یو نو دا کریکٹرسٹکس دیٹ وی آر ڈیفائننگ ان بیسڈ آن دوز کریکٹرسٹکس وی آر لائک لائک Uh, telling that one leader is successful and the other one leader is not successful so those characteristics are also very long you know there are hundreds of characteristics to uh, judge a leader based on those characteristics uh, uh, there is also disagreement over which threats are most important for effective leader characteristics جج کریم کہ آیا وہ لیڈر خوب لیڈر ہے یا خراب ہے موافق ہے یا نیست ہے خو زمانے کی ای کریکٹرسٹکس بسیار زیات میں باشا سرزی موافقہ نہ میشا کہ قدام کریکٹرسٹکس بسیار مہم ہے کہ باسا زیزوما یک لیڈر ہے باید جج کریم وہ قدام کریکٹرسٹکس کیا زیاد احمیت نہ دارا The model attempts to relate physical threats such as height and weight to effective leaders in uh, leadership ای تیوری بھئی اصواس ہم آس کہ اگر کسی height خوب دارا weight خوب دارا امیت ہے کہ effective leader باشا Most of these factors relate to situational factors. For example, a minimum weight and height might be necessary to perform the task efficiently in a military leadership position. In business organization, these are not the requirements to be effective leader. Yani, agar shumo bin in the nizam, the military, ii ak shart as ki kasi ki height o weight dara u metana ki leader e khub tar basha. Like ini mauzo bas the business organizations bilkul mutafa wat taras. So this is also one of the limitation of this particular theory. خو اگر شما نگاہ کرین با امپلیکیشن ای تیوری ای تیوری پہی مناستن کہ ما با ای تیوری با اساس ای تیوری میں تانیم کہ خدا ایوالویٹ کنیم مینجرز ایوالویٹ کنیم و مینجرز میں تانیم کہ سٹرنٹ و ویکنس سے خدا کیا اس پیدا کنا و بفاما کی پوزیشن ازیا کیا اس بالای دیگرہ کیا اس چینوا تاثیر و امپیکٹ تارا The threat theory gives constructive information about leadership It can be uh, applied by people at all levels in all types of organization. Managers can utilize the information from the theory to evaluate their position in the organization and to assess how their position can be made stronger in the organization. I told you that managers may think that their position is to evaluate the theory of their They can get you know, an in-depth understanding of their identity and the way they will affect others in the organization. زمانے کہ شما پوزیشن خود معلوم کرین دے گی دارا و باساسی ای کریکٹرسٹکس شما ای را معلوم کرین کیا یا شما دا قدام پوزیشن استین و شما سکلز و ایبیلیٹی ای پوزیشن دارین یعنی و پوزیشن شما کیا از بالای دے گراچی تاثیر دارا سو دیز آر دے امپلیکیشنز دیس تیور میکس دے منیجر اوائر آف دیر سٹرنٹس ان ویکنسز بسیفت دے ایک منیجر شما میتنین develop in, in order to become more successful and effective leader in future. Thank you very much, uh, viewers and students for your time. So if you have any question, comment and constructive criticism, uh, so please inbox me. You have my email on screen. Thank you. Bye till then. Stay safe.